the project came about uh, as a result of a number of uh, interesting connections, communications, and uh, I suppose enthusiasms in relation to the cylinders. In 2009, um, on the recommendation of Nicholas Carlin, director of the Irish Traditional Music Archive, we um, made contact with Henri Chamou, uh, an expert in transferring uh, wax cylinders into digital formats. Um, Henri has a particular piece of equipment called Archeophone, which is used to extract the original audio from the wax cylinder without damaging it. Um, And that enables a a much better sound quality to be made available in digital format. So this very much um, was a central part of the rationale behind bringing this project to fruition at this particular point in time. The cylinders are are actually very fragile um, objects in themselves. They are organic and therefore they are prone to to damage through mould, um, through um, cracks, or indeed through playing them. Um, the, the, the cylinders actually wear out through overplaying. Um, so Henri was able to advise us and assist us and indeed extract um, the best quality sound for this particular point in time using the technology that is available. It's essential for the library to be involved in projects like this. And uh, in fact, the, the O'Neill Henebury project is a very good example of a number of elements of the university and its external partners coming together with a single goal in mind and delivering it. Um, we work very closely with the School of Music on a number of different uh, projects um, to do with their students, to do with research and to do with teaching. There's an external outreach element to this project as well that enables us to give uh, a a wider sense of the value not only that the the library um, offers but that the School of Music and UCC offer to the wider community. One of the pleasures of um, listening to the cylinders and having the opportunity to listen to them and of course now because they're digitised to be able to listen to them repeatedly you know alongside the ability to transcribe um, the tunes because you the, these are um, that you can't play the cylinders too many times because every time you play them they deteriorate so we've kind of liberated the um the audio materials from the physical materials, and that allows us then to to work with those. The collection uh, comprises of two sets of cylinders, really. One set which was collected by Captain Francis O'Neill in Chicago pre-1905, and then another set which was collected in the Dacia region by Reverend Hennebury. And um, the two collections are together in UCC Library because uh, O'Neill actually sent a number of cylinders as a gift to to Hennebury, uh, I think in maybe like the 1910s or so. And uh, they have been stored in in UCC in the library ever since that time. Hennebury and O'Neill, they knew each other. um, And uh, Hennebury had been to to visit O'Neill in Chicago. Um, He, in fact, was quite a supporter of O'Neill and his work. And he attended some sessions while, while he was there. And um, through that friendship, um, I think the O'Neill decided that he would send a number of his cylinders, not all of them. He had done a lot of collecting work, but GCC has this half of the cylinders. It's important, I think, for UCC, given its long association and commitment to Irish traditional music, um, the association with Sean O'Reilly, for example, um, with Michal Asuluan, Matt Cranich, and all of the traditional musicians who have, who, who have studied here or taught um, here as tutors. Bobby Gardner, for example, currently Connie O'Connell, and many, many of them. Mary Mitchell Inglesby, who was a, um, uh, one of our partners um, from, this, from the Department of Music in the project. Much of the feedback that we get comes from overseas as well as from the local community. And again, that raises the profile of UCC and of the School of Music and, of course, of the library. We've emphasised over the years, I think, at UCC, the importance of performance. And we have worked hard and continue to work hard to bring performance 
and and to speak for the value of performance into the academy.